Darkness like midnight, moonless, there's no light. Another lonely day is ending, searching. Okay? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. Do you want to get up? Yes. My name is Penny. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Penny. I'm Ruby. I'm Weiss. Blake. Are you sure you didn't hit your head? Oh, I'm Yang. It's a pleasure to meet you. You already said that. So I did. Well, sorry for running into you. Take care, friend. She was weird. Now, where did that Faunus Riff Raff run off to? What did you call me? Oh, I'm really sorry. I definitely didn't think you heard me. No, not you. You. Me? I, I don't know, I, what I, um, uh... You called me friend! Am I really your friend? Um... Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Sensational! We can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys! Oh, is this what it was like when you met me? No. She seems far more coordinated. So... What are you doing in Vale? I'm here to fight in the tournament. Wait, you're fighting in the tournament? I'm combat ready. Forgive me, but you hardly look the part, says the girl wearing a dress. It's a combat skirt. Yeah. Bad one. Weiss, I think we should hear her side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. And I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. Where did you come from? Hey, guys. What are you up to? Uh... We're looking for our friend Blake. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, the cat ears? What cat ears? She wears a... bow. She does like tuna a lot. So, where is she? We don't know. She's been missing since Friday. <gasps> That's terrible! Well, don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your teammate. Uh, that's really nice of you, Penny. Uh, but we're, we're okay. Really. Right, guys? It sure is windy today. So, Blake is your friend? <sighs> yes, Penny. But you're mad at her? Yes. W well, I'm not. Weiss is. Is she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. But why? <sighs> well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. <gasps> is she a man? No, no, Penny. She's not. I don't know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends. But if I did, I would want them to talk to me about things. Me too. Oh, hello, Red. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ruby, 
Are these people your friends? Penny, get back! <laughs> Penny, wait! Stop! Don't worry, Ruby. I'm combat ready! I feel about you. Uh, <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Where's Penny? You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. Penny, your time will come. Ooh, look at me. My name is Weiss. I know facts. I'm rich. <coughs> Don't be a pest. Besides, the only reason we're here is because you like the tower so much. We could have just as easily made a call from the library. I know, but it's so cool. Oh, I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> oh. You dropped this. Penny? Uh, where have you been? We haven't seen you since the night at the docks. S sorry, I think you're confused. <gasps> uh, I've got to go. What was that about? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. You go make your call. I'll meet up with you later. Wait! Oh. Penny, where have you been? It's been weeks. There seems to be a misunderstanding. What? Penny... Is everything okay? Penny, please stop! Look, I don't know what's wrong, but you have to listen to me. Those guys we fought at the docks, we think they're up to something big, something bad. I need you to tell me what happened to you that night. Please, as a friend. <sighs> it isn't safe to talk here. I wish I could help you, Ruby, but I don't know anything about those men. Well, what happened to you that night? We were all together, and then you just disappeared. Were you kidnapped? Oh, no! Nothing like that! Well, then where did you go? I've never been to another kingdom before. My father asked me not to venture out too far, but... Oh, you have to understand, my father loves me very much. He just worries a lot. <laughs> Believe me, I know the feeling. But... Why not let us know you were okay? I was asked not to talk to you. Or Weiss, or Blake, or Yang. Anybody, really. Was your dad that upset? No, it wasn't my father. The AK-130 has been the standard security model of Remnant for several years. And they have done a fine job. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? But... The Kingdom of Atlas is a kingdom of innovation. It's fine. Well, that's just not good enough, is it? Presenting the Atlesian Knight. Ruby, maybe we should go somewhere else. 
Penny? Wait, where are you going? Down here. She went this way. understand. Most girls are born, but I was made. I'm the world's first synthetic person capable of generating an aura. I'm not real. Of course you are. You think just because you've got nuts and bolts instead of squishy guts makes you any less real than me? I don't... Um... You're taking this extraordinarily well. You're not like those things we saw back there. You've got a heart and a soul. I can feel it. Oh, oh, Ruby, you're the best friend anyone could have. Oh, I can see why your father would want to protect such a delicate flower. Oh, he is very sweet. My father's the one that built me. I'm sure you would just love him. Wow. <laughs> He built you all by himself? Well, almost. He had some help from Mr. Ironwood. The general? Wait, is that why those soldiers were after you? They like to protect me too. <laughs> they don't think you can protect yourself? They're not sure if I'm ready yet. One day, it will be my job to save the world. But I still have a lot left to learn. That's why my father let me come to the Vital Festival. I want to see what it's like in the rest of the world and test myself in the tournament. Penny, what are you talking about? Save the world from what? We're in a time of peace. That's not what Mr. Ironwood said. Check down here. You have to hide. Go, oh, Penny, go. what are you doing? You don't have to go with them. I can help you. It's okay, Ruby. They're not bad people. I just don't want you to get in trouble. Just promise me you won't tell anyone about my secret, okay? I promise. There she is. Salutations, officers! Why were you running? And what happened to the other girl? What girl? I've been by myself all day. <laughs> you shouldn't cause such a scene. Are you okay? Just a scratch. Penny... Your father isn't going to be happy about this. Please, just come with us. Yes, sir. General Ironwood, sir. What in the world do you think you're doing? He started the altercation, sir. That's actually not true. She attacked first. Is that right?
Let's go. Ciel Soleil. Hi, I'm Ruby. Ruby Rose, 15, hails from Patch, leader of Team Ruby. Status, questionable. So, Penny, you two were incredible out there. How do you keep control of all those swords? It's so cool. Penny, I believe it is best if we move on to our next location. Could we have just a minute to talk? Is she your friend, or...? Well, in a way. She's like Blake. But if Blake was ordered to spend time with you... Oh, so Weiss. Precisely. Does she know about... You know... Beep boop bop does not compute? Oh, no. General Ironwood doesn't really want anyone to know. There was an incident with a magnet, but I was able to play it off. Ruby, there's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. I want to stay at Beacon. Penny, they'll never let you do that. I know, but I have a plan. It's been precisely one minute, ma'am. I'll talk to you more soon, Ruby. Oh. What? Oh, nothing. We're just going to be making a slight mm, alteration to the plan. What does that mean? It means that this will be even easier than we thought. All right, it's now time to begin the random adventure process for our next fight. It looks like our first contender is Penny Polentina from Atlas. What are you doing? And her opponent will be Kira Nico from Vegas. No. Ooh, polarity versus metal. That could be bad. Begin! Ah. 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 
showtime. Let's just keep this between us friends. My word! What a tremendous display by Miss Paul and Dina! It's true that a simple spark can ignite hope. Breathe fire into the hearts of the weary. Ever drag you guys into this? You didn't drag us in. We wanted to come. But you didn't know about Tyrion, about... Ruby. We lost... 
We lost Pira. You lost her too. And Penny. And your team. And, in a way, your sister. But you're still here. Despite everything you've lost, and everything you could still lose, you chose to come out here. Because you felt like you could make a difference. You didn't drag us along. You gave us the courage to follow you. I sound like a crazy person. I mean, uh, yeah, just a little. But at this pace, you'll be combat ready in no time. Uh... Well, uh, I'll see you upstairs. How do you handle all of this? People have tried to kill you. The world's about to go to war all over again. How are you okay with any of this? When Beacon fell, I lost two of my friends, Penny Polandina and Pira Nikos. I didn't know them for very long, but that doesn't change the fact that they were two of the most kind-hearted people I'd ever met. But that didn't save them. And Penny was killed just to make a statement. I'm sorry. I am scared, but not just for me. What happened at Beacon shows that Salem doesn't care if you're standing against her or not. She'll kill anybody. And that scares me most of all. Pira? Penny? I'd be lying if I said that it didn't hurt. That I didn't think about them every day since I lost them. That I didn't wish I had spent more time with them. If it had been me instead, I know they would have kept fighting too. No matter how dangerous it was. So that's what I choose to do. To keep moving forward. Again, old friend. <clears throat> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Have we met? Well, this is off to a fantastic start. Cybernetic optical implants? You adjust them every 10 years or so? Maria! Yes, with the cybernetic optical implants. I adjust them every 10 years or so. Oh, wow. Has it been that long already? Wait, what was it that you were trying to say about Mantle? You painted it. What? Is everything okay? You're Team Ruby. You know us? Oh, my girl, I do. I most certainly do. And I feel like such a dunce for not recognizing you sooner. My daughter's told me so much about you. Your daughter? Ah, trouble. Wait! You say hello to your friends. <gasps> Sal? Huh? You? Uh. It is such a pleasure to see you 
all again. Penny, I... I, I thought you... Died? I guess in a manner of speaking, she did. But we were able to recover her core from Amity Arena once it had made its way back to Atlas. It took me some time, but... I'm as good as new, better even, and now I'm the official protector of the city. That's my girl. We're not going to let a little ripping to shred stop us, are we? <laughs> no, sir. This is strangely wholesome. Sounds like Penny to me. We have so many things to catch up about. I cannot wait. It seems we will have to wait. Let's talk more later. I can't wait to hear about all your adventures. tell if I completely understand what's going on or have like a million questions. And thankfully, I have about a thousand answers. But let's get out of this weather first. I have absolutely no idea who that child was. Is she important somehow? I just said one more council like that. <gasps> Yay, you're here! Uh, Come on, let me show you around campus. So that way's the cafeteria, and that way's the training rooms. Oh, and over there are the classrooms. <sighs> this all looks great, Penny. But where are we staying? Remember, you're in Atlas now. As the most well-funded school on Remnant, every team at Atlas Academy gets their own room. And if that wasn't enough... So we're staying in the dorms? It'll be just like Beacon again! <laughs> It goes without saying that this arena holds a significance to all of us. It's only fitting that we should be able to reconvene here, now, when the world needs to be brought together more than ever. Oh my gosh, is that a mission board? It's an app now? <gasps> Can we ride a Mega Life? Stop an underground crime ring? Do I get to go undercover? Maybe! Hey, you guys smell that? Salutations! <laughs> Good morning, Team Ruby. Oh, Penny, what time is it even? Time to be huntresses, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> for Amity Tower's construction are far too heavy. All that weight would require precious dust we should be saving for the launch itself and the grim that will come after. It just makes for long, very long supply runs. At least the tundra is scenic. <laughs> totally. Ruby! <laughs> I just wanted to say how excited I am to be working with you in a professional capacity. As friends. <laughs> Me too, Penny. <laughs> Relationships are so interesting and varied. Speaking of friends, have you been able to make any new ones? Since, you know... Now that I'm the official protector of Mantle, I don't really have a team anymore. General Ironwood says I don't have time for friends. Oh. Uh... How do you feel about that? I feel like I wish I could do both the things I need to do and the things I want to do. Is that normal? <laughs> That's about as normal as it gets, Penny. Everything going all right up there? More friends means more fun. Penny, where'd you go? <gasps> Please don't leave me. Oh, hey, what... What are you doing here? Just, uh, hanging out with a friend while she's on the job. <gasps> yeah, real cute. Robin, Robin, Robin. <laughs>
get to Atlas. Backup's on the way. Penny. Grim. <sighs> We've got a long night ahead. How is she doing? She's confused. Scared. We'll have her recorded visual data shortly. That should prove her innocence, but... The damage has already been done. The things people are saying about her? Ugh. If Penny hadn't been there, Robin would be... <laughs> I don't think Robin was their target. Salem's goal has always been to divide us. I think Penny was exactly where they wanted her. Just like at the Vital Festival. <sighs> and how are you doing? If Maria hadn't offered to help me these past weeks, I'd have likely collapsed by now. Getting a communications tower into the sky seems impossible on its own, but now, to think of what people want to do to my girl. <laughs> Even if the worst does happen, you can always reactivate her again. So maybe try not to worry so much. There's a reason why Penny is the only one of her kind. When the General first challenged us to find the next breakthrough in defense technology, most of my colleagues pursued more uh, obvious choices. I was one of the few who believed in looking inward for inspiration. You wanted a protector with a soul. I did. And when General Ironwood saw her, he did too. Much to my surprise, the Penny Project was chosen over all the other proposals. Why would you be surprised? You created an artificial aura. Uh, not quite. <gasps> you gave her part of yours? Yes. And each time I rebuild Penny, it takes a little more. If the people get their wish and she's destroyed, I won't be able to... <laughs> we'll find whoever's responsible. I promise. All right, everybody. It's time to do our jobs. All of us. They saved us! The Protector of Mantle! Just sent a ship up. Heading to the next LZ. Ditto! Same here.
commoner's fear is we so easily underestimate its power. They felt the need to do the things they did. Hello, Penny. I'm worried for your safety. Tell me where you are, and I'll have you picked up right away. Atlas needs you, Penny. Salem is here. She's not going anywhere until you change your mind about Mantle. There's still a chance for Remnant to Mantle? You're still worried about Mantle? Remnant is doomed, Ruby. Unless we leave, Salem will destroy Atlas, and with it, any hope humanity has left. We need to think about the future. If she makes it through our defenses, everything that follows will be on your hands. Hey. I do not like it when friends fight. I know. I... Yang and I might not agree on how best to save Mantle, no. but... I mean Winter. The General. They were our friends. But then the Aesops attacked you. And the General... He said people were going to die. Because of me. That was a lie. And he was only saying it to hurt you. I was the protector of Mantle. But now, I am much more than that. And I wish I was not. But you're still you, Penny. By becoming the Winter Maiden, you did protect Mantle. Thank you, Ruby. I found it! Amity's computer will try to connect to the General's terminal, but get pity instead. And after the launch, I'll return to help you all with the evacuation. <coughs> uh, about that pity, when Amity goes up, I think you should be honored with Maria and I. But they need me here. Right? Well... If you stay far out of Salem's reach, then she can't open the vault. She can't get to the relic. So... Maybe it is for the best. Um... We should probably head to the hangar. I guess... We all have to do some things... We would rather not. <gasps> Hello, kids. Time to come home now, Penny. So your first time losing to us wasn't enough? We were holding back. We have all said some things we regret, but please, hear me out. I know you thought you were doing the right thing when you left with the Maiden Power, but Salem is here now. Things have changed. If General Ironwood plans to leave Mantle behind, nothing has changed. <sighs> I thought you were supposed to protect the people not hurt them i would never hurt anyone well winter's in critical condition because of you and you repaid her by stealing the power that should have been hers but taking the maiden power was the only way to if you stop... keep refusing to do the right thing people in atlas and mantle are going to die you could stop all of this penny just open the vault hand over the relic and you'll save atlas 
But it won't save Atlas. Salem will find her way to the relic no matter where you go. Once Ironwood opens the vault, the relic is as One good as... One more word. And I'm throwing you in jail right next to your uncle, Runt. Leave her alone. And what are you gonna do about it, Tin Can? It is time for me to go, isn't it? We'll see each other again really soon. I promise. Good work. Good work would have been capturing Penny. Well, you know what they say. If you can't beat them, then make them join you. The stabilizer was damaged. We've missed our window. At this rate, we'll likely drift into touching down just north of... I can fix this. What? Our message is only a few minutes long. I can try and hold Amity in place until- Absolutely not! You're in no condition to do something like this. Even just the temperature out there could- It is our only option. She is right, Pietro. We have to remember the big picture. I don't care about the big picture! I care about my daughter! I lost you before. And you're asking me to go through that again? No. No. I want the chance to watch you live your life. But, Dad... I am trying to. My name is Ruby Rose. I'm a huntress. And if we've done everything right, then I'm talking to all of Remnant right now. Dr. Paul and Dina can explain more later. But right now, you all need to know that the Kingdom of Atlas is under attack. Things are dire, and we need help. But please, try not to panic. This isn't some new enemy or invading kingdom. This is a force we've faced before. For centuries. Salem. Dude. The White Fang. Atlesian drones. Even the Grim themselves have all been controlled and manipulated by her in order to tear down the Huntsman Academies. <laughs> I know the idea of the Maidens and Relic seems, well, crazy, but I promise.
as Professor Goodwitch of Beacon and Headmaster Theodore of Shade can verify all of this. They might even be able to help organize a way to fight back. But, sadly, General Ironwood can no longer be trusted. It seems Polandina's proxy trick worked. And that's good news for us. Penny's blades operate on the same principle as Amity in the launch terminal. In order for her to control them all, they need to communicate with one another. We didn't have time to prepare for Salem. But now you do. Just because she can't be destroyed doesn't mean she can't be beaten. If she really was unstoppable, she wouldn't have acted with such caution until now. She knows we're a threat. So even if we... Even if Atlas falls, you can't give up. No, come back! Penny, you've done enough, sweetheart. Get back inside! We can ride out on no. Amity together! Uh, I... I have to go! The bolts! Uh, no! Dad! Penny, what is happening? Say something. I love you. Penny! <laughs> Penny. Did you call anyone else? She lost consciousness, and she's leaking. Set her down, set her down. <sighs> Can you help her? Even based on what you've told me, I hardly know what she is. <clears throat> but her basic anatomy seems similar enough. I can at least stitch up that wound. Do this. I, I can't do this. Willow, please come back. Goodness, try not to. No, not again. You're okay. Please. I. I, I don't want to do it. Hey. No one's going to make you do anything you don't want to do. But there is a part of me. It's making me. It's just a part of you. Don't forget about the rest. It's coming! I'm sorry! doing I must open the vault and then self terminate
have always promised to defend this kingdom, its technology, its future, from those who would see it destroyed. Our enemy is crippled, but one individual still denies Atlas its salvation, the protector of Mantle. Penny, wherever you and your friends are, I need you all to listen. I know how much Mantle means to you, so I'm going to give you a choice. You can bring yourself to Atlas Academy and do your duty. Help me save as much of Atlas as I can, and Mantle will be left to fend for itself. Or, you can all watch as I destroy it. I have one bomb. That's all it will take. If there is no mantle, then there is no reason for you not to work with me. Neither of us want it to come to that. But one of us is willing to do it. If anyone tries anything other than what I've ordered, mantle is gone. You have one hour to respond. I hope you live up to the title I gave you. Hurry! I can no longer be delayed. Teddy, please! I... I must open the vault! I do not want... Ah! Ruby, stop me! Kenny! I must open the vault and self-terminate. virus? No. It's still there. But you've got an aura, Penny. A soul. That's who you are. Our friend. Not a machine. So, that takes care of phase one. Meanwhile, the real Penny goes to the vault. With help. I blasted a hole through the bottom of Atlas, and I highly doubt they've had time for repairs. That should take you straight to it. All of that is the easy part. As soon as Penny opens the door, we go through, grab the staff, and stop her termination. Just hang in there, Penny. Okay?
someone has come to engage my creative wiles. All I'll say is it had better be worth it after my last project. A floating city? <laughs> How pedestrian. Hi, uh, Mr. Ambrosius. Uh, sir, listen, it's about our friend. She's... she's dying. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know it's against the rules for me to bring people back from the dead, so... That's not what we want. She's... not your typical girl. So she isn't. I I'd love to meet whoever did this. Ah, uh, I see. There's something eating away at her. I'm, I'm guessing you think you have some clever plan to save her. Just know, I will give you exactly what you ask for, and I don't want any complaining when it's not what you wanted. We brought her schematics. We want you to make a new version of her, using her exact same robot parts. That was curiously worded, girl. An exact copy of her would include the virus. An exact copy of her without the virus would cease to exist the second you make something else. And we kind of want to keep her around longer than that. You've done your homework. We want you to create a new version of her. Using her existing robotic parts. Taking the virus with them. Hmm. Okay, but if I take the robot parts out of her, that would leave... Penny, the girl who's always been there underneath it. Hmm. You can't destroy. It's against the rules. But you wouldn't be destroying her. Her soul is who she is. The mechanical parts are just... extra. But a soul without a complete body, what would be left? I don't know. I guess you just have to get creative. <laughs> I suppose I could do a little oh, add a touch up. But if I do that, how much of the old penny would be my work and how much would be her just coming up to the surface? This is all very exciting and very dangerous. Uh, I don't know what the results are going to be. We don't have any other options. We believe in her. Then ready yourselves to witness my artistry! Done. Penny? Our theory works. <laughs> and start the evacuation. Oh, and one last point of clarification about this central location of yours. Do not fall. Okay, and with that dire warning. We did it. What now? We go to Vacuo. All of us. 
and hope that we've thought of everything. Semblance. No. There's not enough time to heal me. She can't get the staff and the power. But there is something you can do. No, I, I don't know where the others are, but why still give us time? Let me choose this one thing. Trust me.
made it! Kid! 